Welcome, KSL Gang. Oh, welcome KSL gang. Today we're going to be doing layering combinations for Gingham Gorgeous from Bath & Body Works. Now when I was thinking about combinations for this one, I was thinking soft, pretty, girly, and sweet. Because that's what Gingham Gorgeous smell like to me. So I have 10 I want to share with you guys. Okay, let's jump in. First up we have Finery Flower Bed. Now this combo will have me running through flower bed. It's one of the first combinations I tried with Gingham Gorgeous and I cannot get a enough it's such a pretty girly soft floral it's giving very much high end i had to stop using the flower bed because i don't want to run through it so quickly so i'm gonna have to pick up the mist or something because this combo which is an all-around girly soft and pretty but absolutely obsessed obsessed with this combination and next we have victoria's secret pastel sugar sky now pastel sugar sky it's more floral but it's also way sweeter than gingham gorgeous gingham gorgeous everything is just is really soft and pretty about it this adds a lot of extra sugariness to it and even though it has a lot more floral it still doesn't overdo it it smells really fruity and sweet almost candy like it also brings a nice freshness to it because of that lavender but you know how lavender could be really strong and overpowering but combine these two that lavender is really light on the background but these two amazing together next is bath and body works sweet petal pound cake now we all know this is not a super cakey scent i know for me it wasn't but I still categorize it as a fruity floral gourmand so I just ran with that and added another sweet fruity floral scent you have the rose you have the raspberries the tiniest bit of cake note and adding gingham gorgeous to it it just makes it more sweet and floral even though it's a lot of floral going on it's still on the fruity and sweet side these smell so pretty together and next we have Victoria's Secret Love Spell Splash which is one of my top favorites in that collection and I told you it smelled like a raspberry peach tea a sugary sweet one and I told you in the gingham gorgeous review that I smell more peach so I said why not add another peach scent to it with these two I could have been done with this layering combination video I could have just featured this by itself that's how much I love this combination I'm definitely gonna have to mix these two together and put it in my little decant bottle so I can have it ready to go because I need this one all season it's sugary and it's sweet it smells like candy it smells a little floral it's addictive like this one can go in the lane by yourself if you have love spell splash try it out and let me know what you think but i'm standing behind this combo next we have bubblegum pop and i feel the same way like i feel like the last combination this brings a nice bubblegum and citrus note to gingham gorgeous it's a very fun combo but keeping it really pretty and sweet love it and next we have strawberry snowflake now like i said in the review in gingham gorgeous the peach was very forward to me but the strawberry was still there but i could have used a little bit more so I thought strawberry and snowflakes would be perfect to add to it. But it also adds a really nice creaminess to it. Giving it a gourmand feeling. These two a creamy strawberry, a nice sweet peach, lightly floral. Smells very edible and delicious. And next we have Life of the Party. So this one has citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, shimmering vanilla. This one's like a light perfumey scent to me. Gingham Gorgeous has some type of sparkly note to me like I said in the review. I knew the bubbly prosecco would pair really good. And with the vanilla it just smells very airy very pretty very soft i will say it toned down a little bit of the floral and gingham gorgeous because life of the party does have some floral notes but it's not overpowering everything is just laid back and so it definitely brought that into gingham gorgeous it's still a hitter though and next we have victoria's secret tea sugar flare you can use the mist or the perfume this one adds a super sugary sweetness to it it has apples in it the apples berries and peaches play really well together it's like you're on a sugar rush and it still falls in that really pretty girly combination and next we have brazilian crush chaliosa 68 like i told you in the review this was going to be a combo so 68 to me is already this really pretty soft spring scent and these two together even though it's not super heavy or anything it's like double the pretty double the fruitiness double the floral but it's not too much everything is just soft and easy about it like it can be a nice daytime wear the dragon fruit and sheer vanilla it's really nice with gingham gorgeous and next we have 
Cow Yara by Latafa. I know it's a lot of mixed reviews with this one, but I actually love this one. It is fruity, but the opening is a musky scent and dries down to a fruity, creamy scent. I knew it would pair really well with Gingham Gorgeous. It has tropical fruits, vanilla, musk, sandalwood. It gives it a really nice lasting power pairing these two. This can definitely be a daytime going into a nighttime spring scent. Even summer. I think all these combos would be really great in the summertime as well. This combo smells very intoxicating. Like I know I've been talking about girly, sweet, and pretty. This is like a grown sweet floral scent. But yeah guys, that's going to conclude my combinations for Gingham Gorgeous. Let me know how you've been trying it with anything else. And later on down the road, if you try any of my combinations, let me know what do you think. If you haven't now already, subscribe and join the KSL game. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey KSL gang, if you love cooking and watching cooking videos and super easy recipes, make sure you check out my main channel in Kiki's Kitchen. I'll see you over there.